Ghana attracted a foreign direct investment of $2.6 billion in 2020, despite the surge of COVID. Now, this represents a significant increase of over 100% over the FDI of 2019, which stood at $1.1 billion. Let's hear from the chief executive of the GIPC, Yofi Grant, who earlier on spoke to the media. The FDI on the back of um, disrupted supply chains and trade globally. And so we expected that we would see a significant drop in foreign direct investment. But incidentally, it didn't happen like that. By the second quarter, we rather saw a leap. And by the first half of last year, 2020, we had already um, chalked some about $780 million of foreign direct investment. And, and so it was extremely encouraging. Um, and um, it was very clear that the Ghana story and the Ghana opportunity had hit home. But by the end of the year, um, we came out with even more remarkable results, and uh, which I'm going to report to you. By December 31st, 2020, total foreign direct investment that we had managed to register and record in our books, and that consists of what comes in through here and the other agencies that also register foreign direct investments, like the Petroleum Commission, the Minerals Commission, the Free Zones Board. And we actually had a remarkable figure of 2.650.97 million dollars, which is 2.6. Oh, sorry, 2.650 billion dollars. Now, this was against all our expectations because of what had happened globally and because of predictions made. And I dare say, is a testament to the confidence that investors have in the Ghana economy. Indeed, our numbers tell us that um, for 2020, Ghana, uh, with Nigeria, attracted the second highest foreign direct investment on the continent. The first was Egypt, with about $5.6 billion. Um, indeed, between Ghana and Nigeria, we both did about $2.6 billion in foreign direct investment.